Hello everyone. This session we are going to discuss about the different types of grammar available. Uh, there are actually four types of grammar available. That is type zero, type one, type two, and type three. Whereas the type zero grammar is called an unrestricted grammar. There is there is no restriction over this grammar. I'll say you what a restriction is. Whenever it is a grammar, it is of the format alpha tends to beta, where alpha is made up of the combination of variable and terminal. So this plus actually denotes it's an union operation it might be uh, either a variable or a terminal and this to the power of plus actually denotes a positive closure over variable and terminal that is it might exactly contains at least one variable or a terminal or the combination of variables and terminals plus actually uh, denotes one or more combination and beta is made up of a variable or a terminal to the power star so it actually denotes it might be an uh, you, it will ac actually it accepts either a null string or a variable or a terminal or any combination of variable and terminal so the example production or like here it might be the combination of a variable and terminal and here is also a combination of variable and terminal and again it also accepts some empty productions too something that tends to empty also so this is allowed in case of an unrestricted grammar there is no restriction over alpha and beta so this is called a type 0 grammar and the mathematical model that accepts these kind of type 0 grammar is called a turing machine a turing machine is the mathematical model that is, that contains an infinite tape as a memory unit that tape can either move left side or right side one cell at a time so the turing machine accepts all kind of language that are solvable by a computer now so we call that as an unrestricted language uh, okay the grammar is called as an unrestricted grammar the next type of grammar is called a context sensitive grammar again context sensitive grammar there is some restriction that is placed in the unrestricted language and that is called a context sensitive grammar here again the grammar is made up of alpha tends to beta but the restriction over here is the length of alpha is less than or equal to length of beta okay so whatever is there in this side should be lesser than or equal to this side okay and again here alpha and beta beta are made up of variable and terminal combination but here it is to the power of plus so it actually means that in both left hand side and right hand side there should be at least one element should be there okay so that is called a context sensitive grammar and for context sensitive grammar the mathematical model that accepts this context sensitive grammar is called a linear bound automata that actually has a finite length as a memory unit okay next one is type 2 grammar and we call it as a context free gram grammar in the context sensitive grammar we are going to place again some more, some other restriction so that is called a context free grammar again the grammar is of the form alpha tends to beta and again the length of alpha is less than or equal to length of beta so this condition is similar to that of a context sensitive grammar but here alpha is always a single non terminal non terminal in the case it is a variable variables we call it as a non terminal so alpha is always a single variable and beta it might be either a variable or a terminal or the combination of variable and terminal and again this is to the power of whole star so we can have a empty string also okay so here in in the beta case it might be either an empty string or a single variable or a single terminal or the combination of variable and terminal whereas alpha is always a single non terminal the reason why we call it as in context free grammar is like usually we call uh, like when you have a variable and in this variable if you have a production of this structure okay this is called a context for a variable if you have some combination of this we call this as a context in a context free grammar like here it is always a single variable there is nothing in front of it and in the prefix and suffix it is free so we call it as context free language or context free grammar okay and the, for this context free grammar the mathematical model that accepts this context free grammar is called a push down automata and push down automata uses stack as a external memory unit okay 
last type of grammar we call it as a regular grammar and regular grammar it actually has some restriction then in the context free grammar here the production again is of the form alpha tends to beta again the length of alpha is less than or equal to length of beta alpha is a single non terminal or also we call it as a single variable and again beta it might be a variable or a combination of a variable and terminal the whole star but here in beta the restriction is placed like this okay the beta the length of this beta is always less than or equal to 2 and whenever it is 2 it should have the combination of this a variable and a terminal okay and uh, this type of grammar we call it as a linear grammar when the length is always 2 and when you have the combination of it we call that as a linear grammar okay and when you have a variable in the left hand side we call that as a left linear grammar in the right hand side we call it as a right linear grammar okay so the production are always of this form like this or a variable tends to a single terminal symbol so that is also accepted for this regular grammar the mathematical model that accepts this is called a finite automata a finite automata it actually doesn't have any external memory each and every state will remember its own transition so it has a very limited memory okay so we can say that this regular grammar or regular language is the preliminary thing like when you are arranging all the grammar in a hierarchical pattern okay unrestricted grammar it has no restriction so all the language that are soluble comes under a unrestricted language and when it comes to a context sensitive language few of the language few of the problems over here will come under that category okay for an unrestic uh, sorry context free gram context sensitive grammar okay few of this unrestricted grammar that satisfies this condition okay whatever of the grammar of the form alpha tends to beta will be there in unrestricted grammar with some restriction when the length of alpha is less than or equal to beta then that comes under a context sensitive grammar so that will take some problems okay and again in this context sensitive grammar whichever have the structure of this alpha is a single variable that comes under a context free grammar and again the problems in a context free grammar whichever satisfies these kind of condition that comes under a regular grammar so this is called a chomsky hierarchy the hierarchy in which the grammar or the languages are arranged regular grammar a smaller amount context free grammar which includes regular language with some prob some other problems and a context sensitive grammar it includes regular grammar context free grammar and some other problems whereas unrestricted grammar it includes all context sensitive context free regular grammar with an extra problems okay thank you